This video is brought to you by Sailrite. This video will explain how to make a binnacle cover. We're going to show you the patterning, and then we're going to show you how to construct it. We're going to make this binnacle cover out of Sunbrella marine grade fabric. Sunbrella fabric is highly UV resistant, water resistant, and it also breathes, so it's excellent for covers like this. Hi, I'm Matt Grant with Sailrite, and today what we're going to talk about is building a binnacle cover for your sailboat. And uh, I'm on our Sailrite's project boat, the Seaward 24, and we purposefully picked this boat as a project boat because it has a small binnacle. Doesn't matter the size of the boat, if you've got a structure like this, it's complicated to cover because obviously just making a big bag does not give you a tailored fit. So we're going to show you how to tailor that fit. 3M's fiberglass strapping tape is your friend when it comes to doing a binnacle cover. And we're going to put it pretty much all over the binnacle cover because on a binnacle cover what you need to do is you need to think about the surfaces that have to be covered. You have the forward surface and that forward surface has a width, it has a height, and uh, that surface has to be mated to the back surface which again has a width which is dictated by the wheel and will have quite often a different height which you can see here, not quite as tall as this. And then we have to connect those points between this structure and the aft surface and that creates the panels that run down the sides across the top and down the opposite side to make the binnacle cover. And then typically we'll put a drawstring in the bottom just to pull it tight around the base and make sure that it doesn't come off. So we go back to our filament tape and what we want to do is we're going to start with it right down at the sole of the boat and right along the sides of our framing and we're going to bring it up around and over okay there is one piece now we need a center line piece and I'm going to eyeball the center that there. That'll, and now we need to come to create our back piece and we're going to bring that straight down to the base of the binnacle. And we're going to bring that up and around. Now you should be starting to see that we're creating a nice three-dimensional structure for our pattern material. Next thing we're going to do is put a double stick tape over our surfaces, but we're going to do one surface at a time and uh, wherever we mark is where our seams are going to be in our ultimate uh, uh, canvas binnacle cover. Placing the filament strapping tape on top of the bows, then applying the seam stick will ensure that we'll be able to remove the double-sided tape, if you place it right on top of the bows without using a filament uh, strapping tape, you may find that it sticks too aggressively to the bows. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is remove our transfer tape, and we're going to pattern this back section. Now we have the cup holder here that's going to get a little bit in the way, and we may end up actually just putting some pleats in that when we're done in order to get around that. So start right there at the top. By cutting the pattern material a little bit more to the size of the uh, object that we're patterning, it makes it a little bit easier to handle. You definitely don't want to cut it too small. You want to cut it big enough, but having this much material is a little bit more cumbersome. We're applying the pattern material right on top of the double-sided tape. If you're not happy with the way it's come out, you can always peel it up and reapply. The nice thing about this pattern material is until you get it secured, you can really pull it rather nicely there. Now be able to cut this around. Now here's where we're going to get into some issues with this piece right here. And what we're going to do, we're going to fold that like so. 
because of that cup holder, we need to create some pleats to take out some of the fabric and make it look pleasing. going to have some excess fabric down here at the bottom that's going to have to be pulled into our drawstring area. What we want to concentrate on most is making sure it looks good up top here. Now let's let's draw let's draw this side. Yeah, pull this. Pull that side out there. down straight from this corner. So can you pull it out to your side? Okay, pull straight down from that corner. You got it? Okay, now we pull across, so we're tight across the front. There we go. Now grab your side. of this, tip it to guide it right down and along. I put a dot right here at the sole so we know where the absolute bottom of the cover is. And Deb's doing the same thing on that side. Um, we're just going to basically go straight across uh, with our, uh, our, our pattern line. Um, because of the fact the bottom will have a drawstring, it's going to pull into that point anyway. Deb can show you what's going to happen. And we'll get some wrinkling down here, but that's perfectly satisfactory for this type of a cover. So it's important to get it looking good at the top, and the bottom can, can crunch up a bit when you pull the drawstring. Okay, next we're going to cut away some of this excessive material, leaving a good inch. Whoops, I cut my tape, that one hurt me. I'll put it back again. Leaving a good inch all the way around. Okay, now we carefully remove this. Okay, let's take this to our pier so we can take a look at it. Okay, so these are our stitch lines for the, the pleats at the top to go around the, the wheel piece. And uh, what we want to do is 
probably write, write this as front out and uh, if we the other thing the other approach that we commonly use is south or starboard outside and pout for port outside and we have our two points down here that can be connected with a straight line and I can do that using this nice little straight structure on the deck and the only other thing we have up here is that and that okay there's our pattern piece for the front and remember this pattern piece does not have uh, seam allowances built into it so we'll want to try and put those on these patterns when we get back to the loft. Our particular binnacle here is symmetrical. So we're only going to pattern half of the center section and then we'll just duplicate that for the other side. If you're not symmetrical, you have to take a long piece of pattern material and pattern both sides. So let's release our transfer paper. Okay, here you go. All right, and now let's, we've got a pre uh, we've cut a piece here that's uh, plenty big, but not so big that it's gonna be impossible to maneuver. And we're gonna start it over the top. Step pull straight across from me along the top. There we go. Okay. And now what we wanna do is just keep pulling it and keep, keep securing it down your sides as you pull there. This has been a video teaser. To order the full version, order Make Your Own Binnacle Cover DVD, part number 200350.